Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Got a problem. This thing quit on me. It cost two dollars. Is it worthwhile monkeying with it? Well, of course it is. You always want to find out why. And if it doesn't work, then it goes in the scrap heap. So let's find out what's wrong in here. First thing we got to do is take the cover off. Okay, let's tear down this rig. The idea is good, but this just never really held too well. And this was a last minute, last ditch effort. The big problem is this thing decided to stop. So let's open it up and see what's going on. I got everything unplugged. Okay, I'll take these little screws out here. the wires off. Take this last little screw out of there. It holds the ground wire. And pull the motor. I can run a continuity check on these wires. Make sure we haven't lost the power cord. Then run a continuity check on the coil, because that's really the only electronic thing in here that could go on it. And if it's the coil, it's pretty much gone, because it's not something you can go in and repair easily. Motor's turning. So, we'll just have to see. There we go. Continuity between that wire and the other wire. So, let's clip this to the ground. 
will go to the ground lug on the plug. Okay, the ground is okay. That one is all right. Now we'll take the black wire. Okay, the cord is good. Let's check the coil. I have a feeling we're going to find this is an open circuit. Winding has too much resistance for that little 3 volt flashlight tester, so I'm going to use this continuity checker on the big multimeter. Well, this is reading continuity. So now I wonder why would that be reading continuity and not turning? happily turning. I bet we just had a bad connection. Well that's a positive outlook. Positive outcome. I can attach this thing back into the frame and be ready to do the next painting. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more painting but you know if I needed to. Well one project leads to another project every time here at the shop. But that's all right. We're always looking for work, aren't we? 
that's the point of having a workshop is so that you can work on things. Get the camera up here a little closer. Motor driven spit, two dollars. Done. Okay, this can go back on the shelf, be ready for the next project. Very happy. Now this can go back on the shelf and be ready for the next project. I'm very happy with the outcome of that. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel. Just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.